huge risk to the women who do this. This is a huge risk to the girls whose thirst for knowledge, whose thirst for freedom is so high that they will risk it all for freedom. So please, our last speaker, Diva Khan, for girls education. Thank you for having me today. Thank you very much for all of you who come and join us today. My name is Diwa Khan, and I want to speak briefly about Afghanistan women today. Today, it's a very, very sad day that Afghan women has been banned from everything. The girls, it has been 433 days that Taliban took over, and the girls, secondary girls, have been banned from education, women from work and morality. I have been in touch with many women and girls. The only thing they say, Diva, where is my dream? When will the world hear us? When can you, everyone be the voice for us and help the Afghan girls to get back the fundamental right they, they everyone in this world have? Remember, Afghanistan is the only, the only country that the ban the girls from education and women from work because the most women in Afghanistan are widows and have children and they are banned from the education and from the work. The only thing I want from everyone here is to listen. Don't forget the Afghan girls and women, please. Like today we have been here together. I want everyone to speak about Afghan women and get pressure on every, every government to hear the voice of Afghan women and Afghan girl. Thank you very much. Please, please. Not that we go away today and forget the Afghan women and girls. Always, always fight for their rights. It's 20 million women who are forgotten and for banned from every right, from every, every right, the, every human basic right. And we cannot forget them. We cannot let them be like that. We cannot let them die without any hope. Girls, I have known many girls that the, the parents does, don't see any more hope in there in the, without education. They give them to sell away them to the, go get married. But the girls are doing suicide. I know many girls, 14 years old girls. And the only, the only hope they have is us. Malala's father, you, uh, Ziauddin Saab. Fauzia Kofi, Malala, and all of you, all of you have been joining us today. Please don't forget Afghan girls and Afghan women till we have the till they have the right to live the normal life like everyone here have. Thank you very much. <laughs>